Hey, good afternoon. This is Yvonne Anderson. Let me let Facebook build my audience um, as you come on today. Uh, go ahead and let me know where you're watching from and we will get started shortly. I've got a really good question to answer for you today. As you come on, just let me know where you're watching from. We'll be getting started shortly as soon as Facebook is finished building my audience. Hey, Char. Welcome. All right, hopefully you guys can see me loud and clear. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I, I value your time. It, today is... Uh, this is the episode of Daily Answers with Yvonne. I am Yvonne from Colorado from YvonneAnderson.com. I am a home business entrepreneur who enjoys uh, helping answer questions and help people make an income from home online. And so if that is something that you're interested in, stick around. I've got a good question for you. If not, go ahead and jump. I do not want to waste your time. For all my replay viewers, go ahead and probably fast forward about maybe a minute or so and uh, you'll get straight to the content. So today, uh, yeah, Char, favorite topic is motivation and that is exactly what we're getting ready to talk about here. Uh, let me let Facebook finish building my audience and we will get started here shortly. All right, so today's question comes from Rochelle T. Um, she wants to know, how do you stay motivated when you're juggling a full-time job and other responsibilities? That's an awesome question, number one, because I've been there. I know how you feel. Um, and so I'm just going to tell you exactly what I did to stay motivated um, and give you some tips that help you motivate it as, as well. So number one, what is your goal? Why are you wanting to have a home-based business? Why are you building one? Why are you doing it on, side, on the side of your job? If you have a full-time job, what is your goal? Why are you doing this thing? Are you wanting to quit that job? Um, are you just looking to make extra money? Why are you Why are you doing it? That's the number one goal because that in itself should be enough motivation to keep you going. Um, looks like I may be uh, losing my internet. I don't know. Am I choppy? Hopefully I'm not. Hopefully I'm not, but we'll just keep going. Anyway, so again, what is your goal? You got to ask yourself, what is your goal? Um, if you're thinking about, if you think about when you apply for a job, number one, the question is, we're looking for self-motivated individuals. That's what they'll say in their job application when they're looking for jobs or some type of job ad. So they're looking for self-motivated individuals. You have to be self-motivated. You have to know that you know that you know that you want to do this thing. Thank you, Shar. I wanted to make sure I was coming in loud and clear. So thanks so much for letting me know. Um, so again, again, what is your goal? Number two, let me just tell you my motivation. When I was working a full-time job about back in 2010, when I finally fired my boss, my motivation was that I did not want that job. I hated my job, every bit of it. And so I was not motivated to stay on that job. My motivation was I knew that when I got off work, I had to come home, fix dinner for my family, work, you know, deal with my family, and then get straight to what it is that I needed to do to make sure that at some point, at some point, this could change for me. At some point, I could quit my job. I could walk away from my job. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Elaine. Thanks for jumping on. Hey. Um, so I just, it was my motivation of what I wanted to do, which was to quit my job. So I hated my job. And if that's in the, the same boat that you're in, you've got to be your own self-motivation. Um, and I believe it's Diane Hockman that talks about this, a zero level strategy. The strategy is when you get off work and you're working your full-time job, again, I get, let me say thank you first and foremost to Rochelle for even submitting this question. Um, because a lot of people are struggling to build a home-based business. Is, um, alongside of a full-time job okay and so that's what this question is for today but let me just get back to what I was saying with Diane Hockman she talks about zero level strategy she talks about you being knowing that every single day there are a few tasks that you must accomplish regardless of how you feel you've got to get rid of your emotions and just do it okay um, so even if you feel burnout you just got off work and you don't feel like doing or working on your home-based business you got to do it and the reason you're doing this mainly because it's a business. So I, I like to, I always tell my team, I think of the analogy of having a pizza restaurant. You would not uh, promote your pizza restaurant, open it up, 
up, um, start having your customers, and then the very next day decide that you are tired. And so your pizza restaurant is not open today. And then the next day you come in and you're serving pizza, and then the next day you're tired, so your pizza restaurant is closed. Your customers want to know, they want to see that you're open. They want to see some consistency. And in the home-based business industry, it's extremely important that you're consistent because people only want to follow someone who is consistent. They only want to partner with people who do not look like they're going to jump to the next program tomorrow. Okay, so extremely important that you're doing that, that you're you're opening up for business every day. So if you have a full time job and you're you're struggling, you're tired, your motivation has to be. I got to do this thing. I want this bad enough that I'm going to go ahead and work every single day to get this done. Um, so let me just tell you a few of the things that I think you should be doing at minimum every single day. Number one, I talked about this yesterday when, as far as building your list. Thank you guys so much for the love. I appreciate that you're here and giving me some love on today's um, video. Hey, William, I see you. Hey, Ashley, thanks for jumping on. I appreciate you guys. Um, so again, you just want to push through. Exactly, Sonia, push through. You got to push through it. You got to decide that you want to be the example for your team um, and keep doing every single day what you got to do. So the main things that you want to do, hey Jacques, Jacques T. Morris, T. Morris, the shirt and tie guy is here. I see you. Thanks so much for jumping on. Um, so every single day you want to be doing your daily task. And yesterday I talked about the importance of building an email list. So every day you want to at least be uh, contacting your email list with one email a day um, so that they know that you're around. Because again, People don't join you on the very first contact. They don't join you on the second. Sometimes it takes six, seven, 10, sometimes 15 exposures. And so you wanna make sure that you are uh, doing things every single day to stay in front of your audience. And your motivation should be, am I helping? How many people can I help today? Hey, I see, thanks for jumping on. Hey, Juanetta, thanks so much for jumping on, guys. Um, so again, we're talking motivation today. We're talking about how can you be motivated when you're when you're juggling a full-time job and other responsibilities. Again, it's important for your family to let them know in advance, look, babe, I'm trying to work on something. I've got some important things I want to get done in my home-based business tonight. And so every day, just set your time frame that every day from seven to nine or whenever you're going to do it, you're going to work your job. And even if it's only 30 minutes a day, even if you can only commit 30 minutes a day, it's consistency, it's commitment. Because again, you're building a home-based business here. So people want to know if they're joining a leader. They're joining someone who's not going to jump ship tomorrow or who's going to be there for them. Are you still here next week? Are you still here the month a month from now? And so every single day you want to be working. You want to be building that business so that if that is your goal to finally quit your job, like it was mine to finally quit your job, I got, I was so tired. I'd come home um, and, and make my phone calls because at the time I was, uh, promoting a program where I had to get people on a live call every night. So I had to make my calls. Sometimes I did it for, on my lunch break. I dialed, uh, did some phone calls from my lunch break, invited people um, to invited people to that call. So every single day, my motivation was to quit my job. If that is not your motivation, you've got to decide what are you motivated by? Why are you doing this? Okay. So again, it's going to be up to you to decide what's keeping you in the home business game. What's keeping you here? What do you want to do? Why are you doing it? And then every day, submit it, send out at least one email to your list, place an ad. Um, I know a lot of people want to start with free advertising. Free is not always the best option when you're trying to uh, quickly get some type of results because free is slow. Free is Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, anything that you're not paying for. I promote that you can do, that if it's in your budget, to do paid ads so that you can start to see some quick results because I believe that results is the, is the main key that motivates people anyways. Getting results, making money, um, and so forth. So I believe that if you're getting fast results, you're going to stay motivated anyways because you're happy about the fact that you made a sale. You're happy about the fact that people are joining you, people are reaching out to you. Um, and the other kicker, the other part about this is when you're doing attraction marketing, like we decide to do, like we do, uh, we're going to blog every day. We're going to create content every day. So can you create a piece of content? And content can be like I'm doing right now, this Facebook Live video. When I get off here, I'm going to take this video. I'm going to put it on YouTube. Sometimes I put them on my blog. Um, and so again, very important that you're motivating yourself, but getting results so that you can stay motivated to come back and do it all over again the next day. Elaine, you asked, where do I place ads? I'm, 
I'm learning how to do Twitter ads. Um, I've done, I've only done one Facebook ad ever. I run uh, banner ads on IBO Toolbox. That's one of my favorite places. You may see some of my banners over there, but paid ads is key. Um, so I do, I do paid ads over on uh, IBO Toolbox and I run banner ads there. I'm learning how to get on Facebook ads. I need to get with my girl Keisha Bass because she's all about doing some Facebook ads and stuff. Um, and then I'm learning some Twitter ads from Vince Reed, um, how to do Twitter ads because I recognize that paid ads is the way to go if you want quick results. But I also do the free advertising. So I promote, you know, some things on, on my Instagram account. I make sure that every day I'm giving some motivation and inspiration to my audience over there. Um, but again, your motivation has got to come from you. You've got to be self-motivated. Just like they say on job applications, we're looking for some self-motivated individuals. That's exactly what you have to be, self-motivated to keep this going. And then once you're getting results, once you've made enough to replace your income um, and you're comfortable with leaving your job or whatever your goal is to finally be able to start living life on your own terms, then that's, that, that's one of the best goals to go for right there. So I hope that was helpful. Let's see, Joy, you're saying you may have already covered this, but how do you decide what's the best home-based business for you? That is a good question, Joy. It depends on, there's several different ways. Hey, Maurice, there's several different, hey, Coach Macon, there's several different uh, options out there. Um, I promote affiliate marketing, so that's when you uh, cu couple up with an, a company that you like their products and you're promoting those, comp those products to people. Um, so affiliate marketing is key. Network marketing is a little tougher for most people because honestly, it requires that you get your team to do some work. So it's when they say you got to have three people, you bring on three people and those three people bring on three people and those people, people bring on three people. That can be a little bit more, a little more tough because now you have to rely, your income is relying on whether or not uh, someone else is making a sale. So for me, I like instant pay programs. So when I'm promoting something and I make a sale, I get paid for my job. I get paid instantly um, for what it is that I'm doing. If you want to know about the home business that I recommend, go on over to YvonneAnderson.com, click on the work with me tab. Um, and you go from there. A lot of people pick their companies pr based on the products. Did the product work for them? Maybe they, they, like I did in my last company, um, it was a weight loss company, a weight loss product. Um, I lost 42 pounds using the product and decided to uh, join with the rest of my team and start promoting that product. And so you decide it's something you want to be passionate about. You're going to want to be passionate about the fact that you have a home based business and not be shy to share that with people. And so that's how you pick a home based business. Do you like their products? Um, did the products work for you? The compensation plan is key. Um, whether or not you're getting paid. I don't like the companies where it requires that I have to make six sales before I ever make a dime. Um, because that can be hard for most people. Most people may only make one or two sales a week um, and they want to get paid for those sales. So I always try to pick a program that is going to pay me instantly. Uh, what do you say, Juanetta? Let's see. You say I have three programs I'm working on. So should I master one or all three? Okay, so... <laughs> If you're trying to promote three different products, you may want to couple it with a funnel system like I do. Um, I have a funnel system that I'm using that's building three income streams at the same time using that one link, okay? And so I promote the Easy Cash Code funnel system. It is a system that we started using that you can plug your primary business into so that you can get, um, you can make multiple income streams and build a residual income because honestly, the name of the game is residual income. Instant pay is your quick, uh, your quick money where you're getting paid, you have some cash flow to use to do paid ads. Um, so again, you can, you can start with instant pay, but Winetta, you're, it's going to be difficult for you to get traffic to all three because now you've got to place paid ads to go to three different websites. I assume you've got funnel systems for all three different uh, programs. And so it may be a little harder. You may want to master the one of your favorite or use a funnel system like I do that allows you to at least create some cash flow and then add the business to the back end. Okay. Thanks, Tim. Thanks for jumping on. I'm glad you're here. Hey, Joy, yes. Head on over to my site and then me and you can touch base later. Uh, decide if you want to get started in your own home-based business and go from there. But okay, that was the daily answer with Yvonne. I am Yvonne from Colorado from Yvonne Anderson. I enjoy helping people create an income online and answering your home-based business questions. I'm on here Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Again, I hope that was helpful. Um, and I will see you for another episode tomorrow. Thanks everyone for jumping on. Thanks Icy for all the love. I see you. Uh, thanks Juanetta for the questions. Joy for the questions. I appreciate that. And I will be back for another episode tomorrow. Bye for now.